In certain IoT scenarios, you will need to have very beefy machines on-premise at the edge to do compute. You will want to manage a lot of data as well. Windows Server IoT is here for you, and Addy from the Windows IoT team is uh, on the IoT show to tell us everything you need to know. This is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Thanks for watching. Addy, thanks for coming again on the IoT Show today. Olivier, it's great to be back on the show. So for those who missed the first episode where you were in, they will just like go there and watch it. But can you introduce yourself real quick? Yeah. I manage marketing for Windows IoT. And the last time when we came and we talked, we talked about Windows IoT being the foundation for the intelligent edge. Yep. And we discussed two members of the family. So we talked about IoT Core yeah. and Windows IoT Enterprise. And today, I want to talk about the new member of the family, Windows yep. Server IoT 2019. Windows Server IoT 2019. So what is that? Where do you see that Windows Server being used in IoT scenarios? Yeah. So we uh, introduced Windows Server IoT in Embedded World, yeah. um, and it's generally available with partners today. Okay. Um, so where we see Windows Server IoT being used is when you think about an IoT solution mm -hmm. where you have a lot of da devices connected mm -hmm. to the server that's mm -hmm. generating massive amounts of data. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when you capture that data in, in huge data sets, and when you want to analyze those data sets using cloud models, mm -hmm. uh, that's when you start thinking about using Windows Server IoT at the, um, at the edge. At the edge, to implement that analytics to, to, to prevent basically having to send the data back to the cloud, to be in compliance with, uh, with privacy policies and things like that, right? So yep. th th can, you, can you actually dive a bit more? Like, tell us about a, an example of this kind of scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Again, with a Windows Server IoT, it's massive compute yeah. and massive data. Yeah. Now, when you think about an example of a city mm -hmm. um, wanting to use cloud models to train their traffic cameras to spot traffic violations, yeah. um, as you can as you can imagine, all these traffic cameras at intersections would be generating a lot of data, mm -hmm. thousands of images per minute. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a choice. You can analyze that data in the cloud, mm -hmm. or you can analyze it on prem. Mm -hmm. um, when you analyze it on-prem, you, you manage to circ circumnavigate a few of the issues mm -hmm. when it comes to latency, when it comes to privacy and compliance. Yeah, yeah. And with server, uh, with Windows Server IoT, mm -hmm. um, you have the ability to run really powerful devices. Think devices up to C with, with 64 CPUs, 4 terabytes of RAM, and 400 terabytes of storage. So yeah. these are beefy machines. Yeah. And so when you run your analysis locally, you're able to get quick real-time insights mm -hmm. that allow you to take real-time action. That's awesome. So that's all great and so, but there are other uh, operating systems out there, some of them are free, like Linux, that allow you to control this kind of, to run on this kind of hardware to implement this kind of inference and machine learning algorithms. So why would I choose Windows Server IoT versus Linux? That's a great question. Look, uh, Olivier, um, so Microsoft has been in the embedded space for a really long time. We've been in the space for about 25 decades. Yep. So we understand the needs of our device builders. Mm -hmm. So you think about extending some of the knowledge and some of the expertise that we built in the embedded space and mm -hmm. extending that over to Windows Server IoT, mm -hmm. um, you start seeing benefits. One of the benefits is security. Uh, we're able to bring in things like Secure Boot, Device Guard, and Windows Defender mm -hmm. um, uh, into the operating system. So off the shelf, you get an extremely secure operating system. Mm -hmm. Second one, we offer you know uh, world class ten years of support, just like we do for IoT Enterprise yep. and Windows IoT Core, and we extend that to Windows Server IoT as well. Okay, so basically, we're saying that our expertise in the IoT space, twenty five years. Uh, even more in the enterprise space, right? Delivering servers for enterprise, mix that, and this is what we're delivering with Windows Server uh, IoT 2019, right? Yeah, we believe we're, we're, we're giving our, our customers a great solution with Windows Server IoT 2019. Okay. What, uh, a little bit uh, more information, what is the difference between you know, Windows Server and Windows Server IoT? You already alluded to some of the differences, but what makes Windows Server IoT better fitted for these scenarios than just plain Windows Server. Yeah. So at a product level, Windows Server and Windows Server IoT are the same. Mm -hmm. But for Windows Server IoT, we've changed the licensing terms to adapt it for IoT scenarios. Okay. So what that means is that, back to the example that I talked about, 
um, for the city that is using the server for one single application, mm -hmm. we suggest our customers use Windows Server IoT. Mm -hmm. Pricing? Um, you know, it actually the pricing is going to be better on Windows Server IoT because because of the restricted because scenario. Because of the restriction, one restricted scenario, right? scenario usage. And with server, you also have three editions. You have the data center edition, you have the standard edition, as well as the essentials edition. So our customers have a lot of options in terms of the, the solution that they're building and the additions that they want to choose. So basically, the enterprise expertise, IT expertise, we're bringing a Windows Server manageable, secured lockdown, and they can run on very beefy computers to do all you need to do in these uh, hybrid IT scenarios. That is right. Good summary. Thanks a lot, Addy, for uh, joining us on the IoT Show. If people want to learn more, where should they go? They should go and take a look at the online resources that are available here. Okay. Um, I urge them to go take a look at it, get familiar with Windows Server IoT, and then go talk to the partners. Uh, they should go have a conversation with the partners today. Well, you folks know what you have to do. Thanks, Addy, for joining us on the show. And people, don't forget to subscribe for the next episodes.